Good morning. I just left my abergay, but I want you to take a look at this beast right here coming up on him. Hello, Turk. Hello, rooster. I think you're a rooster. You're a little closer here, or are you gonna attack me? I'm gonna run away. I guess the rooster up there. Somehow you got out. You got out. So there's roosters up there. But, uh, yep, there he goes. So I'm leaving a few minutes later than I wanted to, but I need to get on that Camino because I need to be in Tui by one o'clock. Been heading down the hill for the last hour or so or more and some of it's kind of rigorous as you can see not back that way but it was rigorous but i want to show you this map so basically we are here and then we're basically following this trail all the way to here and then we cross the ridge the bridge into uh tui so that's where i'm headed from here to here and I think I'm going to have coffee like right here. So it gives me about an hour to work that off before mass at noon, uh, at one. But check this out. So coming through the forest, I can see this. And actually, as I walk forward here, you get to see it too, just like I do in more fullness. And that is beautiful. Look at that valley floor. Look at the, uh, I'm assuming the marine layer, the clouds. Hopefully that's not smoke. But that is incredible. So somewhere that way, John has to go get over a large river and head into Spain and exit Portugal once and for all until I return here for some unknown reason. Well, I'm walking down the trail here and uh, crossing over another little stone bridge over this little creek. You can wave the camera if you want to. And then continuing on. Bon Camino. And I'm gonna go across here carefully and back on the Camino here. But uh, up. Obviously this is another uh, uh, Casa Cafe. But uh, I can't stop. I have to make time today. I have to get to Two Week Cathedral by one o'clock mass. So I've been pushing myself. Uh, I'm just starting to get hungry here. So I may just nosh on my power bar now to kind of nip that in the bud. And then uh, who knows, maybe on the other side of the border or this side of the border with Spain, I'll get some coffee if I know that I'll make the one hour fast uh, before mass. Well, I'm here in Valencia and I'm here at the fortress that's on the Portuguese side of the border. And I am very thankful I climbed up here because I love this uh, military architecture and the overlapping fields of fire. You can see where the uh, cannons will be here would shoot this way and make sure there's no attackers coming from this direction. And then same thing with this. And then they're high enough over here, Sacramento, California. 
so there's this uh, detached bastion or Orleon or something like that. I can't remember it is. And there's the, uh, that's where they would store the ammunition. But you'd have other batteries of guns here protecting the approaches. I so want to tour this town. I so want to tour the fortress. But I just don't have time. I have to, uh, I have to, uh, hey, I have to uh, get into Tui by, uh, by one to go to Mass. So I can't do it. And I was looking on Google Maps using the satellite view, and I can't tell if I go through here, if there's a way for me to get out of it, back onto this access road here that takes me over to the bridge to get across the river to the Spanish side. But you can see, you have the ditch here, the gun emplacements there, and more emplacements here. This is great. I love this history, but uh, more road for me to walk. Okay, I have enough time, and luckily there is a gateway that comes up this way into the fortress. So I'm just going to take a quick peek, get various places to defend, I guess. Oh, there's some gateways and ways to get up to other places, but I'm going to go all the way to the top, I think. Oh. Hola. Hola. Buon Camino. Buon Camino. So... Here, I'm inside the fortress now. And there's a little arrow, which I'm assuming it's here because people stay the night and uh, need a way to get out of town back on the Camino. Well, I'm gonna figure a way to get further around the corner. <sighs> okay, I'm up here. And there you go. That's Tui over there. And that tall building right there in front of me, my finger, I guess, I'm pointing at that direction, uh, dead ahead. That's the cathedral. I have to be there by one. It's about 11.30, I think, right now. But once again, you can see the whole architecture here. This is to guard the approach to Portugal from Spain. Spain's over there across that bridge. And you can see, once again, all the military architecture. So this is the highest tier uh, where cannons and troops would be. Uh, you have uh, openings for cannons. You have a lower level for cannons and troops. And then you have a lower level and a lower level. And you have these overlapping fields of fire. If you think about it, anybody coming this direction, trying to cross this river at this point where it curves and I think it slows down, um, you could easily fire upon them from a distance because you have the elevation. So you can actually fire from here anywhere on that side of the river and hit them uh, coming from Spain over to Portugal. And, uh, or the other way is true too. If you wanted to move troops from Portugal into Spain, you could in theory fire and clear the path to get over there. But uh, this is kind of neat. I'm just hoping that this path will lead me back down to the city street and I can get down to that bridge cross it. I could see some pilgrims crossing it right now. So John needs to get back on the Camino. Okay, here we are crossing the uh, railroad road bridge into Spain. According to the sign back there, 800 or 81 meters you uh, hit the very center of the river and that's where Spain and Portugal meet. And I can't remember if I went over this rail bridge on the train trip from Vigo to Porto, but most likely I did because the train tracks above lack uh, electrification or electricity. So it's not a normal train that would run back and forth. It could only be diesel trains. And uh, we're gonna walk together as we cross the river. And uh, once again, like I said, I don't like bridges, but this bridge is not necessarily too high. Uh, there's more pilgrims coming this direction. And knowing my luck, the uh, colorful painted whatever it was is on the other side of the bridge, which I probably could see it from here. Let's see here. I thought we'd, we'd hit the middle point by now. 
here we are. Here we are. And there we are. I am now officially straddling two countries simultaneously. It feels so powerful. And with that, there's not much more to show you on this side, so I'm gonna take a picture of this and get off to Mass. I have made it right at 12 o'clock to the cathedral and I'm glad to be here. I got an hour so I'm gonna duck in there have a really quick cafe con leche and I should be good for mass and then take pictures inside the church and then after that go to my alberg clean up and call it a day. I'm gonna give you a little update once I get back outside, but check this out. So you have one transept here at St. Dominic, I believe. And uh, this is the grand uh, organ here, part of the church. Another one of these beautiful altar pieces. And then over here, you have the uh, choir here, the canons, <coughs> and then you have some additional uh, cannon seats here and here underneath the uh, pipe organ uh, But once again once I get outside uh, I'll give you an update which is really cool Okay My earlier video segment says I was so happy to be here by 12 I was gonna be able to make mass and go over there and get some coffee But there's a little something that I forgot but my guardian angel and most likely the Blessed Mother as well, allowed me to get here by 12. But you're forgetting, like I did, that Spain's an hour ahead. So I got here just as mass started, and I was very happy. And so here's the entrance portico to the church, cathedral, and uh, various religious figures here, and then the Blessed Mother up there. So now what I'm gonna do is not have any sort of coffee across the street. I'm gonna go ahead and go to my um, albergue for tonight and check in since now it's almost two, not one. And um, that way I can enjoy more of Tui this afternoon or just relax because I have more days of walking ahead of me. Well, I have arrived. I have uh, proceeded to go from the cathedral, wander to the main square, up to the bank, back from the bank. And now I'm here at the historic hostel, apparently. And so I'm gonna go through this door. Hopefully my green bag is there. And what I'm gonna do is I'll rinse out my arm sleeves, my handkerchief here or neckerchief, and then go back in town and get something to drink and eat. Since I have to wait to check in, this is the courtyard. This apparently was an old convent. So I'm looking forward to this sitting here. And ooh, right here, this is where you wash your feetsies, twitsies, and the chairs. You can see that. This is gonna be nice. 
this is going to be really, really, really nice. <laughs> 